get on there, Dad. I'm gonna need a 13 millimeter ratchet and a 3 8 ratchet and a torque wrench. Some brake cleaner to get the differential lid off. I use this to hammer it in. Use this to scrape off the old gasket. Some 75 140 synthetic rear axle lubricant. This is an open face differential, so I don't need any additive. My gasket maker, Primatex gear oil, pump to put the fluid in, gloves and water, and lots of rags. I'm gonna start by cleaning around it. I'm gonna use this to clean around it. Just some brake cleaner. This was on sale. I just used the 3 8 ratchet to open my plug. Make sure you open the plug first too. There's no point of adding fluid if you can't open the plug to refill it. So do that first and then just put it back on and continue. Alright, I cleaned around it a little. Now I'm going to use my 13 millimeter wrench to open these. Got something more heavy duty. Much easier. So open all these. Leave this one on. Or loosen a little, but leave it on because it's so when it comes down this pan doesn't fall off. So I leave that one on. But we'll get there. Let me just loosen these. Alright, I got all of them loose. Now I'm just gonna Take them out. Remember to clean your screws. This wire is going to get in my way. Over here. So I'm going to zip tie to this metal thing. Or hose. Okay, zip tied the hose out of the way. I got all my nuts except the top one off. Now I'm gonna use this to go as straight as possible and just work my way around and then pry it open. Try to go as straight so not to scratch it. Might need a hammer to hit the back of this or a mallet I'm gonna use. And now I can take my top screw off and take the pan off. Now I'm just going to 
just going to let this drain out, get all the stuff inside to come out. And I'm going to go clean the pan. Well, this is just draining. There is a bunch of stuff under there, so we're going to use a rag to get all that stuff out. We gotta get all this off. Upgrading to a razor blade. Just be careful over here. I got my pan clean. I went back to the plastic razor blade. I cleaned my screws. Alright, I got this all clean. Now it's time to make the gasket and pop it on. This is what I'm going to use to make the gasket. Make sure to read instructions. I got this on. I'm just going to place it on there carefully and hand tight the bolts. Wait an hour and then torque them. Wait 24 hours for it to dry. I waited an hour. Don't pick this by the way now I'm going to torque them to 35 pounds I'm going to go up here and down here and over here and over here just switch it like a star so there's the drain plug I just have a 3 8 ratchet and it just fits in there Cool, and that's where I'm going to fill my oil. Got my 75-140, full synthetic. So there's my hose, my pump. And I'm going for bottle number two. So, I poked a hole on top of this one. I'm just going to go to bottle number two. I don't want to spill, there might be a little left in there. And where's my hole? I poked a hole in this and then I just brought this all the way down. And make sure my hose is good. Nice and they're pretty good. Now it's just pumping time. Pump for minutes. You'll be surprised how fast you could do this. And then there might be a little in there, but it got all of it out, actually. It's a good pump. I don't see any oil in there. Look at that. Hopefully this one does the same thing. And I bought three bottles, so hopefully that's enough. They were 25 bucks a piece. 
I turn it sideways when it gets low and make sure I get everything. So, model number two done. And let's pull it out. Where's the cap? There it is. Pull it out. And then it goes there. And then I squeeze jab it. Yeah, and then third bottle. Hopefully, this is will get full soon or before this bottle ends. Looks like it's exactly three bottles because as soon as this ended, that's when it started to come out. So, three bottles is the exact. I put the cap back and we're done. Uh, that's 15 pounds of torque.